Pri, then one of you asked me to make a video about how to read the Song of Ice and Fire series, aka the Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. If you don't know about it already, in which world are you living? Like, are you living under the rock? But if you haven't watched the show, it's pretty fine because I haven't watched it either. But I have read the first book and the second book, first 200 pages for like four to five times. I don't even remember the count right now. But one of you asked me to give some tips on how to read such a huge book. So I have a pretty good video about it. So I'm very excited about it. And let's get started with this video now the structure of this video would be two parts one before you read the book and when you read the book so before you read the book number one get comfortable with bulky books now game of thrones i would not say it's like the usual kind of bulky books because you know what game of thrones is very much high on description so it he takes like almost like six seven pages to describe like i can give a good example about the book number two where this theon Grijoy does something and you will be like Oh my god, it has been ages since I'm reading about his this journey. So that happens with this book, but it's pretty amazing, but you need to get prepared for it, okay? So what I would suggest is you get hold of some bulky books. Now by bulky books, I mean like thick books, which are like six to 700 pages long, so that you get used to reading such books. I would say you should start with Harry Potter series and read it in one go and even order of phoenix is very big all the harry potter series like the later books in the series are quite big and young adult is also good you know genre to practice with so try that number two tip i have for you is that get comfortable with big descriptions now this is a fantasy book and obviously the descriptions are long i already told you that descriptions sometimes get way too long and Normally, as a reader, we are not that used to just reading the descriptions because most of the books are a good combination of descriptions, narration, like the plot and the dialogue. I mean, like, you know, the story goes further in that, but in Game of Thrones, the description are very long. So he's just describing how this particular place is, how this particular person is, and it takes a lot of time. So if you want to actually read all of those descriptions, because the beauty is in the descriptions you should start reading books like lord of the rings lord of the rings is like the book you want to read before you read game of thrones whole series song of ice and fire series because it will get you prepared for longer descriptions so read that book before you read game of thrones number three tip i have for before reading game of thrones preparation is to get comfortable with reading fantasy books now there are a lot of fantasy books out there and if you want to follow somebody who reads a lot of fantasy you need to go to reagan reads channel and she is like crazy about fantasy and uh, if you want to just start with a few harry potter lot of the rings start with them and uh, maybe even read model instrument series okay so yes read all of those books and then get onto the game of thrones bandwagon now guys the second part of the structure is while you are reading this book you need to remember the following things number one be patient in the beginning you may feel like nothing is happening in this book and i am not getting anything about this book because you know what after long descriptions the chapter ends and you are like this new chapter starts and you forget what happened in the last chapter and it gets crazy it gets crazy but you have to be patient because when you keep reading this book there will come a point when Somebody would try to get you away from the book and you'll be like, I will kill you if you even touch me. This book gets that amazing at a point. I still remember when something happens to a character in the book and I was like crying, dying to read what happens next. And I don't know, that was like plethora of feelings and I know I pronounced this word wrong, but like it was magical, magical. Number two tip I have is read carefully. So if you're thinking long descriptions, yeah, but I can ignore them. No, don't do that because then you will not be able to enjoy the book. You will forget some really important portions of the book and you will forget all those important lines like things I do for love and Tyrion Lannister's take on why he reads books and everything like that. So read carefully. Number three tip I have for you is read with breaks. Now it's a very long book. If you're gonna try to read it in one sitting or even read a huge part of it in one sitting, you are going to get disappointed. You may also not touch this book ever again. So read in breaks. Read some other book on the other side if you can manage with that. I always do that. But if you can manage with that, do that. Otherwise, give yourself some time to read this book. Probably a month. Don't get intimidated by anybody's comment. If you take a month to read a book, it's perfectly fine. You need to be able to enjoy the book. So that's important, okay? And number four tip is not actually mine. It's from a huge Game of Thrones fan who believes, who have read the books and who has also watched the TV series. And he says, if you really need to enjoy the books as much as you will enjoy the TV series, you need to imagine. 
So this author is very much about descriptions, character descriptions, lot descriptions, uh, place descriptions, and you need to imagine everything in your head and read very slowly and actually enjoy the book. So that's what you need to do. Yes, guys, these are my tips on how to read Game of Thrones book. So if you think they will be helpful to you, do let me know. And yeah, they actually helped me out. And I feel like, you know, these should help you out. Do let me know what you think about this video and if it solved the purpose, whosoever requested me to make this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want anybody to read Game of Thrones book or if you love Game of Thrones series, yes, I'm blackmailing you in a way. Please do share this video with your friends and help me get some more subscribers, you know. Also, do hit thumbs up if you actually like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Manfi signing off. I'll be back with another video very soon.